So Guns, Gore, and Cannoli is what you should get if you ever wanted a wacky 1920s gangster flick with zombies instead of drunk people. In terms of gameplay, it's very much like Metal Slug, in which you can only shoot directly in front of you. Although, I think in the sequel you have free aiming. Unlike Metal Slug and maybe even Contra, it's a lot slower since you're dealing with zombies and your guy's kind of just a regular guy, you're not doing a mad dash. But it makes the game have a more methodical feel to it. The game's more about planning out your perfect strategy rather than just running guns blazing as fast as you can. And the game gives you a lot of opportunities to strategize with some interesting enemy combinations and an arsenal of guns that all have really good purpose, including the infinite ammo pistol, which by itself is pretty weak, but it fortunately shoots directly at headshot level, meaning that it can be a very useful tool if you have the right space. And as you can tell, the game used great in-game art style, and I love these checkpoints being old-timey stop-and-go lights. The guns also all sound incredible, especially the shotguns. Now the funniest thing about this game is that it reminds me a lot of a game I made freshman year of college with my friend Patrick for a class. Uh, it also was a side-scrolling shooter where you can only fire in front of you and it was very slow because we couldn't code very well at the time. And we also used hand-drawn sprites. So I guess this game kind of has that extra catharsis for me. It feeling like the finished version of a game that I basically had to make under 10 weeks for a grade. But all in all, I definitely would say that GG&C is an offer that you shouldn't refuse.